Yo, what's up, y'all? Cash cuts. Back again with another video. I know I've been a little minute, man. I've, I've been bullshit. I ain't got no excuse. But we're gonna hop right into this. First of all, whole haircut is out of focus. But um, I got my gold. I got well, these ain't my gold masters. These are uh, Kenny Duncan's. He let me hold these strings for a little minute. So shout out to Kenny. But anyway, y'all see me just put in my uh, ball line with my gold masters. And I grab my trimmers, my uh, Babbles Gold FX. Just tracing around the line, cleaning up the bottom. As you can see, I'm not going as high as I did with my uh, Masters because uh, I got to come back and blend that line out. So I want to leave some room to blend before I move up. So uh, that's what I'm doing here. It's actually my first time cutting this guy right here. So, uh,. my gold masters like i said lever clothes y'all can't really see nothing but you know y'all get the gist of what i'm doing lever clothes blending between the trimmer line and the previous the first line that i put in and you see me um push my notch up a little bit and push the fade up i'm just fading up right here and then i'm uh, i'm gonna wind up fading down right after this you can see i close my lever and um cleaning up man just blending I ain't gonna lie fading has become extremely easy to me now it's like second nature so right here you see the lever open got my comb in my hand combing and cutting I don't really want to raise it too high but I'm starting to see that darkness so um you know I'm doing the same thing on the other side of the head and uh you know I want to make sure it's even so uh And also take into account that the line that I'm putting in is contoured to his head. It's, it's sort of curved. But um, you can see I close my lever. Blend this line out real easy. Um, yeah, man. I'm pretty much doing this video in one take. I might, like, stop in certain portions. But I'm not doing this voiceover again. It's 11.30 at night. I need to take my ass to sleep. So, um, you see, I asked him if he was trimming the top down just to make sure. Put my one guard on, close the lever, comb and cut. Simple process. Um, yeah, man. That's pretty much all I got as of right now. So, uh, just watch through this, and I'll be back once we're done cutting it down. This is the part where I'm supposed to send him to the wash because I usually put in my first line. Sometimes I'll fade it out, sometimes I won't. And then I'll send him to the wash. But um I was zoned in. I ain't like he wasn't getting out the chair until his fade was done. Cause when he got back in the chair I just wanted to do his line up and work on the beard. So I just basically finished his fade before I let him get his hair washed. But um you just see me flicking through the fade, man. It's sort of coming together. I grab my one guard, lever closed, and um, the bulk that's right above this, I'm just flicking at it. This is basically me down fading because I'm gonna come back after this with my zero guard, and I'm gonna, you know, blend down. So I'm just combing. I'm not. I'm not combing. I'm brushing, brushing, cutting. You know what I mean? Turn in the chair, make sure the line is even all around the head. And you gotta make sure, man. You gotta when you fade, and you gotta go against the grain, and sometimes you gotta go with the grain. But when you're going against the grain, make sure you're actually going against the way that the hair grows. Um, you see some portions I kind of angle my clipper back 
towards the back of his head because his hair is growing sort of down towards his nose. You know what I mean? So right here, yeah, I grabbed my half guard, closed it, and I'm basically tracing the line. You know what I mean? Wherever I left, wherever I went over with my one guard, I'm doing the same thing with my zero. Because I want that to be as flush as possible. I need that to be faded out. And you know, I'm going to drop it down even more by um, taking the guard off and uh, making my lever open and then just using my corners. But right here, you can see it's pretty much faded, man. Like, it's not, it's not a uh, difficult it's not a fading isn't difficult once you learn the steps you learn the steps you learn the technique and you find a rhythm and you pretty much got it so y'all can see the fade coming together now i just basically got to blend this right here into the top and you know i cut the top down to a one so all i gotta do is take my one guard open it all the way up that becomes a one and a half and i don't have to go any higher than that you know, I go for my one and a half and I'll close the lever accordingly, open it accordingly, you know, just to get any little dark spots or whatever. But, um, you know, you see we working, man. I actually love these gold masters. I ain't even gonna lie. These masters is crazy. I mean, they, sm they cut so smooth. So smooth. simple man and I ain't gonna lie in this game once you get the hair cutting down pet you start to realize how irrelevant it really is cause I felt like I, I've given people what I felt like was the best haircut in the world or the best haircut that they ever had or the best haircut that I could give them and they never came back I think one of the biggest reasons why that is is because I lack conversation skills. Like we did this whole cut, and um, I ain't really had a conversation with dude, man. Like, I ain't, you know, asked him what he do for a living, what he into, you know, who his previous barber was, all that stuff. The question is that if I'm in a better mood, I would ask somebody. But uh. I say if, if you're a conversationist, barbering would be barber would be ideal for you. For the guys like me who don't really give a fuck to talk, I kind of hinder myself. It's like you know you never know who's sitting in the chair and you don't have a conversation with them. You know what I mean? Damn that fade crazy. Come on, dog. Like like give me like. Give me a, 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 a thumbs up for this fade at least, man. God damn. And he didn't even get his wash yet. Oh, matter of fact, I think he did. Oh, yeah, he did get his wash. Yeah, he did. He just came back from his wash. That makes sense. That's why I'm blow drying. Yeah, this fade pretty much done, man. Wait till I put the line on him. Oh, my goodness. And the crazy part is I think my battery died on my camera at the very end of the haircut. So I didn't get the I didn't get the other side of the finished product. I only got one side, but I'm gonna upload a video. I mean, I'm gonna upload a picture of um of the other side of this cut. I mean, it's pretty much the same, but 
I'm mad that the camera died. Cause I could have just gave him a little 360 so y'all can see the whole jaw, but it is what it is. So yeah, man, I think this is uh, really important, man. What I'm just what I'm doing right here, the the, the blow drying of the beard, you gotta prep it properly. And here, like I said earlier, I'm taking my lever open with my corners. I'm just combing and cutting. I want to get those small little dark spots. This is the, it's like the finishing touches of the fade. You know what I mean? This is right before I go into the beard, start doing the beard work. I just want to make sure that this fade is as clean as it can possibly be. You know what I mean? I got the gold masters in my hand, so it's only right. Like, imagine I, imagine the second time I use my fucking masters. I put on a bullshit haircut. Like, no, I can't do that. I got limited edition clippers in my hand. I got to deliver. So right here, I'm starting to work on the beard. And um, beard work is, is, is tedious and it's time consuming. This is where the majority of this video is going to be. Beard work. The fade didn't take long. The cut down didn't take long. Just beard work. Just beard work. It takes a little bit more time. So we got the beard work done. Now, right here, I had to take my one guard again and uh, just go over it. I felt like it wasn't at the length that I wanted. 
I'm gonna actually start. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy a pair of detachables and start using detachables for these kind of haircuts, just so I can make sure that the top is, I mean, completely even. Cause sometimes with the masters, you gotta go over it once or twice to get it to lay down properly. But um, you know, fade pretty much done at this point. As y'all can see, that motherfucker blurry. That whole bust. You know what I mean? blow dryer lay the hair down add some shape you know what I mean add some shape to the beard brush the beard down a little bit throw my spritz on back to the blow dryer back to the brush back to the basics my G same old shit you know what I mean brushing the hair down making sure that you know this is this right here is hairline prep you gotta make sure the hairline is flush. You gotta make sure that the head is, is completely dry. Um, you know, you want a sharp line. You need everything to be clean. You need everything to be dry. You need everything to be even. I think those are the three most important things. You need everything to be clean. You need everything to be dry. You need everything to be even. If it's dry and it's even and it ain't clean, like, are you really gonna get a clean line? You know what I mean? So, uh, take my wall detailers, starting the line, just tapping it, tapping and going. I find a lot of times, man, I can never get a shape up right on the first pass. And I don't think nobody does, but if I can get a shape up right, like, one pass, if I was to tap from here, from the left side to the right side, and that line be completely straight, what? That'd be crazy. But yeah, I'm just starting on the left side. Well, on his right side, but you know, my left. And um, building his corners. Kind of takes a lot of work because, you know, he's lighting the corners. But the beautiful thing about cutting hair is all the little small baby hairs on the forehead and around the outline. Once you get rid of those, even though the hair that's behind the line is light, once you eliminate the baby hairs outside of the line, it makes the line look darker. Y'all gonna see what I mean in a little minute. You know what I mean? Take my wall detailers, tapping, tapping, tapping. Y'all gonna see as I build this hairline, it's gonna look darker. The more I, you know, the more I work on it. See that? See how the boxes, they kind of stand out more. The hair is clean, the hair is dry, and the hair is laid down. You know, flip the trimmer over, make sure you're getting that ball line right. Checking, see what's going on. And uh, I think right here I switched to my babbless. Because the babbless kind of adds more of like a polished line. I use the babbless like for the finishing touch and I use the walls to I use the walls to build my hairline and I use the babbless to polish my hairline if that makes sense or I use the babbless on the C cups because the babbless has a sharper corner in the walls I use the walls on kids and then I use them on adults if I'm doing you know a little bit of beard work or if I'm building their line and I just want to you know tap and go with the babbless you got to be very 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 precise like I think I'm not even sure but I th I think in this video you'll see me like hold the clipper completely different cuz like the way it is and the way I'm holding it now it's okay but when I when I bring my thumb up a little bit higher on the trimmer it gives me you know a little more stability and a little more control Cause I'm still, even though I had the babbles for a long time, I'm still learning that clipper. My wall detailers, I had, I had a pair already, so you know I know those in and out. I had those when I was cutting in the basement. When I was 13, 14, cutting in the basement. You can see right here, I'm kind of, I'm zoning in on this, on this, uh, on this right side, trying to make sure this line is as crisp as possible. And like I said, it looked darker than it did earlier when I was using the walls. You know what I mean? 
This is what I mean when I say you gotta build the line. Tracing over, tracing over to the other side, making sure everything right. And then, um, I think in the next clip, I think in the next clip I'm gonna uh, do the razor work. And this video is pretty much done. so boom the lineup is done bear work is done now it's time for the razor work um, oh no it's not so what I'm doing here seeing as though I'm about to use a razor on his beard I'm using my detailers to just clean up the outline around it so that my razor has less hair to, less hair to fight through because I see exactly where his line is. So I want to eliminate all of those big hairs. Because you know how when you're using a straight razor. You got to knock all of those big hairs out the way. Before you can focus on making a line. So I figure. I'll just use my trimmer. 
get rid of those hairs so that I can focus on making a strong line with my razor. Then here, you know, I'm just cleaning up. Any little imperfection that I see, I'm just, you know, trimming. I'm doing the same thing I did on the left side, on the right side. Just trimming those hairs around the, uh, around the beard. Just to make my razor work a lot easier. Makes everything a lot easier. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I told myself I was going to start uploading every Monday. But clearly I ain't been uploading every Monday. And I'm tired as hell. It's eleven fifty. I just came from my house call. I've been running around all day long. So my apologies for the low energy commentary. But your boy is fucking exhausted. Okay. So as you can see I'm using my Vincent razor. This is the Weasel razor. It's probably one of my favorite ones. Um, you know building that strong line as you can see doing the same thing on the beard I know you want to keep it as high as possible so I'm not going to dig into it I'm just going to you know I'm going to outline his beard I'm going to make what he has stand out that's all I'm going to do but um this is the part of the video I was telling y'all I ain't get the other side y'all not going to see the other side I'm gonna just y'all. The only way y'all see the other side is in a thumbnail. Because I don't know what happened. I guess my camera turned off or the battery died. I don't know what happened. But um, y'all gonna see this line. I mean, it's the same on the other side. The haircut's even, but I just didn't get no footage of it. So yeah, man. I definitely appreciate y'all supporting. If you watch this video to the end, please make sure to like leave me a comment I'm, I'm gonna make a, a strong attempt to be more consistent you know what I mean I only got what 50 subs right now which is my fault you know I, I could have had 100k if I was more consistent from the time that I started cutting up until now but that's a whole different story we here now so if you watch this video to the end I appreciate you leave a like comment if you're new here, subscribe. If you want to follow my Instagram, it's at castcuts underscore. If you want a haircut, you got to book an appointment. That's pretty much it, man. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.